Welcome to this SQL interview series of Data Millennial. In this video, we are going to evaluate a particular code and see whether we can get the correct output in our mind or not. And then we'll run this code on our SQL workbench also. So the question is that what is the result of the following query? Now, if you go to this query, you can see that the query is select case when null is equal to null, then yes, else no in dash test right so it's a simple select statement and if you think about it that what exactly this case statement is doing it's simply evaluating whether null is equal to null or not so we have to evaluate it in our mind and give the answer that whether the output would be yes or no so pause this video think for a minute and then write your answer in your comment after writing the answer in this comment you can run this query in your sql workbench and see whether the answer which you have thought is correct or not so let's go back to our sql workbench where i have this query okay now i have gone through this query multiple times there were multiple times when an interviewer has asked me this question and I knew that the output would be no and you can run this query and see the output. So if I run this query, the output is no. Now you might think that this null seems equal to this null, but that is not the case. In SQL, null cannot be compared with itself, therefore null is not equal to null we can compare null with non-null values to check whether a value is null or not therefore the result of this query is false the correct way to check for null is to use the is null clause in sql this null can never be equal to another null so that's why the output will always be no now, if you want to practice more SQL questions, you can click on the right hand side of this video or if you want to learn about SQL from scratch, you can click on the left hand side of this video. Happy learning and see you in the next video.